So you want to learn to skate backwards better using the downhill skating method. And that looks like using gravity and inner springs to do it in a relaxed way and to have options. Well, let's go through a couple things we can do to do that. Let's actually start forward and we're going to talk about the corkscrew, which you can see in our videos and also in our downhill skating free training. So the corkscrew looks like this. It's a wide stance. I'm cutting with my heels. I'm just in a nice wide stance and I use something called the inner spring to rotate side to side. So what I'm doing is I am rotating my shoulders. I'm counter rotating my shoulders over my hips and it's kind of like running. So I'm twisting my shoulders and that's pulling my legs and I'm doing a rotation like this. Now, all of that happens going forward, as you can see, without strides and without energy. A big thing that people do when they go backwards and we'll change the frame to going backwards now is they were taught to skate backwards using big C cuts like this. Not that that's a problem, but it's also not the most effortless way to move. So if we take the forward corkscrew that players like Barcel and McKinnon and McDavid use so well, and we just flip it backwards, you get like a Rasmus Dahlin skating backwards. So I'm gonna take the same mechanics of a corkscrew and I'm just going to counter rotate my shoulders and I'm going to just really loosely corkscrew backwards. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just doing it backwards. Now that enables all sorts of mechanics to happen effortlessly and naturally. Things like the soft drag. So as I'm going here, I can really easily soft drag. Uh, I can also pivot that into a cross really easily where I just go from a nice loose corkscrew and I just do a little cross if I need to, even like a little shuffle if I need to. All of those things come from the corkscrew. So the corkscrew is the base foundational mechanic of skating forward. It's a great puck protection mechanic, but it's also the foundational mechanic of skating backwards. And so it, we take it away from that hard, aggressive C cut, and we go into that width and that counter rotation of shoulders over hips so that we can get, generate movement without striding. And then that is the base that you can build all things from. Now it might feel weird because you're doing it without pushing. And even though you're expending less effort, you might actually find that you're more agile and faster, but it does take some getting used to. And if you wanna get used to it, you'll probably wanna go over the five secrets of downhill skating that we teach in the downhill skating free training. So we've put that together for you. You can click the link to find out what those five secrets are and learn to start skating downhill with less effort. So click that link. We'll see you there. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something new.